Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, or just one immediately, you're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 161. Please turn to it. Page 161. Problem number 1. This problem that you see there on page 161, problem number 1, is the exact same problem that appeared in the first edition of the revised GRE. We have already solved all the problems from this first edition. We are just redoing them. If you are interested in watching the original solution, you will find the solution to this problem on day number 68. Let's take a look at it. We are told that there are 275 students in the field of engineering. All right. So there are 275 students, we are told. Approximately, what's the ratio of the number of students in the engineering to the number of faculty in the engineering? They're looking for the ratio of students to teachers. They're looking for the ratio of students to faculty. Well, engineering department engineering department if you look closely uh, to the to the graph uh, the bar graph that they give us in the engineering department we'll see that uh, uh, two percent in order for in order for us to be able to figure out the ratio of students to teachers we already know how many students there are we just have, we just have to figure out how many faculties there are and then information is going to come from the chart that, that, that you see there in front of you and it tells us that two percent of all the female faculties are employed by the engineering department engineering department has 2% of female faculties 2% of and how many total female faculties are there and that you will find on the top of the graph there on the top of the chart there it tells us there are 200 female faculties uh, and 250 male faculties 200 female faculties 2% of 100 is 2, therefore 2% 2 of 200 is going to be 4. Very straightforward. And again, if you look at the chart, you will see that in the engineering department, we have about, not about, we have 12%. We have 12% of male faculties. And again, 12% of 250 is what we need. 12% of 250, I don't know what that is. You, you have two choices here. You can actually sit there and do it out in a classical way by doing 0 0.2, 0 0.12 times 250. I'm not going to do that. 12% 12 of, 12, 12 of 250 would have to be 12 plus 12 plus 6. This 12 represents 12% 12 of first 100 and 12% uh, of another 100 and then 12% of 50. So 100 and 100 and 50, that's your 250 right there. So this is the 12% of 250, which is 24 plus 4 is 30. So that's it. There are 34 faculties. There are 34 faculties, so now we can figure out the ratio. The ratio that we need is students to faculties. The students, we are told, are 275. And the faculties, we just found out, is 34. And that ratio, at this point, this is a time where you have to pause and take a quick look at the answer choices. Because the amount of work that we put into a problem is not just dictated by what is being asked. It is equally dictated by the amount of work that you put in the problem. is equally dictated by how the answer choices are presented to us. So this will be a good point, a uh, good time. To take a quick look at the answer choices, because that will tell us what to do next now. 275 over 34, as you look at the answer choices, we have 10 to 1, 12 to 1, 14 to 1, so on and so forth. We can clearly see this is less than 10 to 1. In order for it to be 10 to 1, the top would, ha top would have to have 
340. We don't have 350. We have far less than 340. So this ratio, whatever it is, I don't know what it is, but it's less than 10. The ratio is, the ratio is less than 10 to 1. The ratio is less than 10 to 1. And as you look at the answer choices, we realize that there is only one answer choice, which is less than 10 to 1, which is answer choice A. It would have to be A, because no other answer choices there make sense. Number 2. Problem number two. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time doing unnecessary work. In problem number two, they're asking us approximately what percentage of the faculty in humanities are male. All right, approximately. What percentage of faculty? in humanities is male. Fine. Humanities has in order for us to figure out what percentage of faculties is here is is male, we have to figure out obviously the number of uh, male faculties and number of female faculties. Once we have the number of male faculties and female faculty, we add them up and you divide the number of male faculties with the total and there is your ratio, there is your percentage. That's what we have to do here. Humanities has, again if you look at the chart there under humanities, you will see that 17% uh, of all the female faculties, 17% of all the female faculties employed by the school, by the universities, are working in the humanities. Humanities has 17% of female faculties. That implies 17% of 200, which is going to be 17 plus 17, which is 34. And the male, again if you look at the chart, under humanities, I see 14%. And 14% of male faculties. 14% of 250. Again, I don't know what 14% of 250 is, but whatever it is, 14% of 250 would have to would have to equal 14 plus 14 plus 7. 14 plus 14 plus 7, because this is 14% of first 100, 14% of another 100, that's 200, and 14% of 50 would be 7. And that's 14 plus 14 is 28 plus 5 is 35. So we have 34 for the other one, 35 for this. As you can see, the answer is going to be about 50% because it's half and half. The ratio is 1 to 1. So that's what it is. Therefore, the ratio that we're looking for is male to total. All well, right, the percentage they're talking about. Uh, male is 34, oh sorry, male is 35 and total is 69. Now, 35, 35 over 70, 35 over 70 is exactly 50% obviously because it's half exactly, but here the denominator is a little smaller. Instead of 70, we have 69. Since the denominator is smaller, it's going to be a little over 50%. This, this amount, this is going to be just a little over 50%. This is how we write it. 50 with a plus sign on the top means just a little over 50 percent. So we're going to look at the answer choices, which which is just a little over 50 percent. See how many are there? Well, there's only one answer choice that's 51 percent. That's a little over 50 percent. 51 percent. The answer is E. Again, you don't have to waste your time doing doing the precise calculations. Do you understand? That's not the point. That's not the bloody point of the of the exam. I'll see you tomorrow or we'll do the problem that you see on the next page. Alright? Bye now.